Hey guys, we are learning about multi-step equations today. So we've done one step, we've done two step. We added combining like terms yesterday. And today we are going to solve equations with like terms and the distributive property. So we are adding the distributive properties today. The steps are still the same as yesterday though. We want to simplify and then add or subtract or multiply or divide. So remember both expressions on each side of the equal sign, we want to simplify them first. We're going to do that by distributing if there are parentheses and then combining like terms if we have like terms. And then after we simplify, that will just be a two-step equation and we will follow the steps that we follow to solve a two-step equation. We will add or subtract to remove the constant and then we will multiply or divide to remove the coefficient. So let's follow those steps on this first one. So on the left side of the equation, obviously I need to simplify that. That is not a simplified expression. 20 is, so I won't have to do anything to the right side. Let's just look at the left side first. That four is not a part of the distributing, so I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it down. And then I'm gonna distribute the two to the x and to the two. So two times x is two x, and then two times two is four, and it equals 20. Okay, now I am still not simplified on the left side. I can combine like terms. So I'm gonna combine the four and the four to make an eight, and then I'm just gonna bring down the two x, and it equals 20. Now that I have simplified everything, I have a two-step equation, so I need to remove this constant by making a zero with it, so I'm going to subtract eight from both sides. And I get two x equals 12, divide by two, so x is six. Okay, next one, same thing. I need to simplify this side. First thing I'm gonna do since I see parentheses is distribute the negative five. So I'm just gonna rewrite the 10x and negative five times x is negative five x and negative five times two is negative 10. And then the right side is already simplified. I'm still not simplified on this left yet, left side yet, I can combine like terms. So I'm going to combine 10x minus 5x, and 10x minus 5x is 5x minus 10 equals 50. Okay, now we're at the point where it's a two-step equation. I need to remove the constant, which is negative 10. I will make a zero with that by adding 10 to both sides. And I get 5x equals 60 divide both sides by five, and I get x equals 12. Okay, number three, I'm going to simplify the left side. I see parentheses, so I'm going to distribute first. I'm gonna bring down the nine, since that's not a part of the distributing, and negative three times three is negative nine, and negative three times negative three x is positive nine x. Careful with your signs there and that equals 117. All right, now I need to combine like terms on the left side. This nine and negative nine will combine. And nine minus nine is zero. That's a zero pair, so that goes away. We have no constants left. So I'm just left with nine equals 117. And now I just divide by nine and 117 divided by nine is 13. Okay, number four, I see parentheses on the left side, so I will need to distribute. So I'm gonna do two sevenths times four x, so two sevenths times four is 1.14, and I'm getting a long number and I'm gonna to have to round it. We don't wanna round until the end. We wanna to try to keep our numbers exact. So I'm gonna convert this to a fraction, and I get 8 sevenths x. 
and then 2 sevenths times negative 18. Same thing, long decimal, I don't want to have to round, so I'm going to write it as negative 36 over 7 equals 12. Okay, now I need to remove the constant in this two-step equation, so I'm going to add 36 over 7 to both sides. And I get 8 over 7x equals 12 plus 36 divided by 7. Get a long decimal, so let's change it to a fraction. I get 120 over 7. Okay, the last thing I need to do is remove the fraction coefficient. And remember, we do that by multiplying by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal is 7 eighths. So that goes away. X is by itself. Let's figure out what 127 times 7 eighths is. 127 times 7 eighths is 15. Okay, number five, same thing. I need to simplify this side. I see parentheses, so we're gonna take care of the parentheses first by distributing. That 20 is not a part of the distributing, I just bring it down. And I'm gonna do 1.5 times 10x. And I get 15x. And then 1.5 times negative eight is negative 12 and it equals 128. Okay, this side is still not simplified yet. I need to combine like terms. So I'm gonna do 20 minus 12, and 20 minus 12 is eight. And then I bring down the positive 15x, and it equals 128. Okay, now it's a two-step equation. I'm going to remove the constant. I need to make a zero with the positive eight, by subtracting eight from both sides. And I get 15x equals 120, and my last step is to divide by 15. And 120 divided by 15 is eight. All right, let's look at number six. I'm going to start by simplifying the left side. The right side is already simplified with just 100. So I see parentheses, I'm gonna take care of that first. I'm gonna distribute the two thirds to the six and to the negative 30, not to the two x because that's not inside the parentheses. So let's do two thirds arrow out times six and I get four x. And then two thirds times negative 30 is negative 20. And I bring down the plus 2x. Now I need to finish simplifying that expression by combining like terms. So 4x and positive 2x will combine to make 6x. Bring down the minus 20 equals 100. Now I have my two-step equation. I'm going to remove the constant by making a 0 going to add 20 to both sides. And I get 6x equals 120. We'll divide by 6 and I get that x equals 20. Okay, number 7, it says find x if the perimeter of the equilateral triangle is 77. So to find the perimeter of the equilateral triangle, I will multiply this side by three, since there's three of those sides and they're all the same. So I'll do three times 6.5x minus one, and the perimeter is 77. So now I'm just going to solve these like I have been. I need to simplify this side by distributing and three times six point, let's clear this, three times 6.5 is 19.5x, three times negative one is negative three equals 77.
Okay, now this is just a two-step equation. I'm going to remove the constant by adding 3 to both sides. And I get 19.5x equals 80. Divide by 19.5. And 80 divided by 19.5 is 4 point, we're going to round that to 4.1. Okay, and number eight, this one tells us that the area of the rectangle is 88. So remember, area is length times width. I can just multiply the two and the x plus two together to get 88. We want this whole side multiplied by this whole side, which is why I put the x plus two in parentheses. And now we're just gonna solve it like we have been. Distribute the two, and I get two x plus four equals 88 subtract 4, and I get 2x equals 84, divided by 2, x is 42.